win over a ranked team in program history, followed by a heart-stopping comeback on the road this weekend. The Cougars are hot, so let's see if they can keep it rolling today against a UTRGV team they haven't beaten in almost a decade. Alongside Max Toma and our championship crew, I'm Sam Brief. Welcome to the Jones Convocation Center here in Chicago. And Max, of course, Chicago State's the talk of college basketball. The engine is Wesley Cardet. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Dick Vitale's National Player of the Week last week. He goes on the road. He puts up 30 against Northwestern, then has 28 versus Vandy. Uh, on the other side for UTRGV, I mean, we're talking about a guy coming off the bench in Hassan Abdul Hakeem, who's second on the team at scoring with 20 plus at three straight, coming off a 23 point effort back in Helfley. There's Cardet, who's just been absolutely balling. He's been the engine sparking, I mean, a win at Northwestern and an incredible late 10 0 run, a rally to win by one at Valpo over the weekend. Yeah, about what they did against Valparaiso, down by nine points with just three minutes left. They come back and win the big Brent Davis three and then the Cardet layup with 2.8 seconds left. And suddenly the Cougars are vying for a three-game winning streak. They play a Vaqueros team, though, that they haven't beaten since 2015. Yeah, two teams very familiar with each other, right? Because one's still in the WAC, one a former WAC member, so they played each other a lot. Now they're back here on the south side of Chicago, a place where, quite frankly, the Cougars have really struggled. Right? They've been better on the road than they have been at home this year where they're just one and five uh, trying to get three straight wins trying to go to four and one here in December. Yeah, it'd be a nice little December. Good way to send the Cougars off for the holiday season and Gerald Gillian's team coming here at home has a chance to get a little UTRGV monkey off of its back. Also, just Sean Corbett just two points away from his 1000th career point. He's in the starting lineup along with Cardet. Brent Davis, Noble Crawford, and Cameron Jernigan. Ball's in the air, UTRGV. Lou lost the tip. Davis ends up getting it in the corner. Down to Jernigan. And then Corbett cleans up the glass. His 1,000th career point comes just 10 seconds into the game. Glad you teased it right at the jump because it comes just immediately. You know, he's been playing second fiddle to Cardent of late, but he has just been sensational still in the last couple of wins. Uh, what a start with a kind of messy tip off leading to the Corbett opportunity. And here's a three ball good for Elijah Elliott bucking a trend for UTRGV. Yeah, he's their leading scorer over 15 points a game. He, he shoots more threes. He shot 16 more than anybody else on the team, but he only shoots 25% from deep. But that shot is so pretty. Elijah Elliott, junior guard out of Houston. As we watch Corbett shoot it from the free throw line, and rebound hauled in by the taller Aaron Freeman. He wrestled it out of Elliott's hands. And the six foot one guard puts up another, and this time the board to Chicago State's Crawford. Here come the red hot Cougars. It's Corbett on the baseline, mano a mano with Williams. And here's Dickie V's national player of the week. Wesley Cardet Jr. coming off that 30 point performance against Valpo. Pass was tipped, and with only 10 on the shot clock, Cougars will keep it. Yeah, how about that comeback at Valpo? Now nine with 3.15 to go. It all got started with, with Cardent, but it was him facilitating, right? He draws such a crowd in the paint driving these days, and he was able to get Brent Davis a wide open three that sparked that ra late rally. Passing out of a double team, just three to shoot. To Jernigan now in the low post. Off the glass and a shot clock violation. What a defensive possession for the Vaqueros. Yeah, both these teams come in. They've really struggled so far this year defensively, especially UTRGV. I mean, 328th in total scoring defense. They really struggle from defending the perimeter, but a very stout possession there. UTRGV team led by third-year head coach Matt Figger coming out of Austin P University, former OVC Coach of the Year. 
And there's his big senior out of Jacksonville, Aaron Freeman for the Deuce. Yeah, neither of his teams have great size, but a great job there by Freeman. Looked like he was looking past, but found himself with some open space on the reversal there. Takes away any chance at a block, too. A really tenacious defense for UTRGV to start. It's Chernigan up top. Now Crawford. Nice pass to Davis. Can't finish. Board is ripped by the Vaqueros. Williams ended up with it. Here they come with a bit of speed. And that was such a great weak side cut from the corner. Did everything hard, did Brent Davis. Just got to get that finish. Freeman's pocket is picked. Davis on the pick, and then Cardet swooping it up. Crawford a three. Not that time, and the rebound goes to Freeman. UTRGV's numbers defending the three are some of the worst in the country. The Caros give up almost 40% from beyond the arc. So let's see if the Cougars can take advantage. And Freeman comes up pretty on a turnaround. Yeah, friendly box guy averaging over 11 points per game. He's a very solid senior who's shooting over 56% from the floor. And you can see why. And a very soft touch around the rim. Davis at the left wing. Driving, kicks it, it was tipped out by J.J. Howard. The Vaqueros are coming out with some defensive spunk. Yeah, well, the energy there, just getting hands in passing lanes right now, and they're making it oh so difficult on Chicago State players, especially like Crawford there, gets caught in the air trying to dish to the corner, uh, and that pass was just simply never going to get there. A sub for the Vaqueros now. Isaiah Barjane checks in, replacing Freeman who snared two early rebounds, scored four points, and now takes a seat. For a team at UTRGV that does not shoot the three ball well, they're under 28%. It's, I mean, there's the defense again, and it's J.J. Howard, the freshman, uh, again as well. But for a team that does not shoot the three ball well, under 28%, a nice spark off the bench. Barjane doesn't shoot a ton. The volume's not there, but he does shoot it very well from the perimeter. Second-year player out of Fulchner, Texas as Corbett has it at the baseline. Corbett has a mismatch against Elliott, goes up and over him, coming up empty again. And Damon Williams a little bit late with the help, but doing just able enough to get Corbett uh, to not make that shot. Cougars are 0 for their last five. Nice cut, but the pass was tipped, and it's on the ground as Crawford finds it. Cougars in transition. Here's Wes Cardet to the can. He got fouled. Dalen Williams, the guilty party, and the national player of the week will head to the line. And how often do we see this, especially on Saturday against Valpo Cardet, catching it on the left wing and then having all that space to drive with his right, get downhill, and get to the free throw line as well, right? I mean, he was just phenomenal getting to the line late. Had four free throw attempts in the final two and a half minutes alone. 66% free throw shooter. Good on the first, and here come some Cougar subs. Deshaun Jean Charles coming in. Same with A.J. Neal. They replaced Davis and Jernigan. I know you have your eyes tonight on number two in the gray, Deshaun Jean Charles. Yeah, Deshaun Jean Charles, you know, in the last two wins, obviously they go out, they beat Northwestern, they beat Valpo, but one of their key players, Deshaun Jean Charles, he's played 38 minutes goodbye in the last two games. He's only got one bucket. He's one of eight. He's only scored three points. But, I mean, if they can get him going, you, you think this team could play even better than what we've seen the last week. Right, they've done that with almost no production from him. And here's a big sub for UTRGV. 14 in the orange is Hassan Abdul-Hakim, their best player who, in spite of being their best player, Max, comes off the bench. Yeah, I'm a huge Hassan Abdul-Hakim fan. This guy is just a matchup nightmare at 6'8". Yeah. Uh, great length, great speed and quickness. Uh, he could score from just about anywhere. He's got back-to-back 23-point -back efforts as well. Elliott, a teardrop. Rebound, Corbett, Cougars have it. This is Neal who just checked in. You mentioned Abdul Hakim coming off the bench somehow is their leading assister, leading stealer, and second leading scorer. This is Corbett after a nice cut, and that's his 1,000 second career point. Yeah, he's getting looks right at the rim. I mean, he missed the last one, but never shy on confidence as Deshaun Corbett goes right back to it. This time gets the bucket for early ones. Daylin Williams gets fouled by Corbett. He'll go to the charity stripe. And oh no, Williams is hurt. Took a hard spill on the hardwood. And Williams holding that right elbow. 
I certainly will hope he's okay and hope he's back up on his feet when we come back from this media break. One more look at that. You see the contact from Corbett. So Williams will be at the line and hopefully feeling better when we come back. It's the Vaqueros by one. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Back in Chicago, where it only took 10 seconds for Ja'Shawn Corbett to score his 1,000th career point, also becoming the 10th all-time leading scorer at Chicago State. In his third season, we congratulate 24 in the gray. A phenomenal accomplishment. Yeah, absolutely. Entry today. I mean, we knew he was going to get it, right? Coming in with 998, but wasted no time. It's probably nice if you're him, right? Get the monkey off the back uh, immediately by scoring 10 seconds in. But nice moment for him and just another guy uh, putting a thousand plus up. That's a lot of points. Longest tenured Cougar player. And now watching Dalen Williams, who's back up looking better, making the free throw. He took a foul from Corbett right before the timeout, fell hard on his elbow, was writhing in pain, but he's back in. Yeah, it was a nice little hesitation and a little head think that got him the space and created the contact, but it also created that kind of awkward tumble. Here comes a sub, so Williams will come out. Maybe the elbow's not 100%. And Aaron Freeman, who already has four points on two of two shooting, he's back in. Some full court pressure for UTRGV. Let's see how Cardet and the Cougars bounce back. Got 15.30 left in the first half. And UTRGV by three. Here's a half court trap, and he gets it to Neal. Now Crawford. Cougars staying on the perimeter. This is a stout Vaqueros defense so far. Nice cut, and Noble Crawford the flush. Got such great defense for over 20 seconds there, right? Just the, the ball pressure, the speed, the rotations, hedging screens, but it ends up with an easy duck for Chicago State. Great ball movement at the end of the day. Now Elliott for the Vaqueros. Cougars are looking for their third consecutive win after a historic week. And Elliott comes up empty. This is Crawford with it for Chicago State. Corbett on a nice feed. He gets stripped. It'll stay here. So we mentioned a history-making week for Chicago State. Took down Northwestern on Wednesday. Deshaun Corbett scoring 17 in that game. West Cardet, 28. And it was the first ever win for Chicago State against a ranked team. Also, the first against a Big Ten team, previously 0 for 64 against the Big Ten Conference. That was on Wednesday night up in Evanston. Corbett, little nubber. Yes, sir. Cougars are up. It's been bully ball down low for Corbett. And I think one of the crazier things is if you said that Chicago State was going to go into that game on the road as 25-point dogs. And now Davis a steal, two on one. Gene Charles takes a hard foul. And next stop, free throw line. 
First of all, that's an area where Chicago State's really picked it up, especially against Valpo over the weekend. Only allowed 62 points. That was time for the fewest they've allowed this year. But they're so great when their defense turns into transition offense. But, I mean, Northwestern last Wednesday, five days ago, shot 49% from the field, 47% from three, at home, favored by 25, and lost to Chicago State. I mean, that's absurd. A team that beat the number one team in the nation, Purdue, just a few weeks ago, then finds itself on the other side of a Chicago State upset. Gene Charles follows his own shot. That's why you do it. Cougars by four. Yeah, I hope the kids are watching at home. Anytime you miss it, you got to follow, especially on a free throw. If you're UTRGV, this is one of the worst rebounding teams in the country. Somebody's got to block out the shooter. Abdul Hakeem weaving in, takes a hard foul. And UTRGV's second leading scorer will go to the line. Here's that contact. And this is what he could do at six foot eight. He could finish with the left, he could finish with the right. He was back healthy. Their last two games are both against an in state rival in that South Texas showdown. And Texas A&M Corpus Christi, they won on the road, lost at home, but he missed the first of those two with that ankle injury. He still got the ankle guard uh, on that left foot. It's actually kind of crazy, right? It was at Tarleston State, and they were down by one. He scores with four seconds left, hurts his ankle, and then they gave up a three-pointer at the buzzer and actually lost, and then he had to miss again. It almost looked like he was limping around pregame, but now he looks fine. Yeah, their schedules actually probably really benefited them and him given the injury because they have not really been playing much at all after today. They only have one more game this calendar year, and it's not till the 30th. Long holiday break coming for the Vaqueros. That's against Incarnate Ward at home on the 30th. So you'll have almost a two-week layoff chance to rest up as Davis has it for the Cougars up three. On the drive, Davis hoists it and comes up completely empty. Freeman the board, his third. And that's the kind of rebounding they need. Aggressiveness down low. Freeman not letting anybody get over him to grab that. Booker to Freeman. Reward the big man, why don't you? And timeout for Gerald Gillian. He looks frustrated. We're going to step aside here. Cougars holding on to a one-point lead. Vaqueros storming back here in Chicago. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Back in Chicago, Cougars are with it. Corbett driving and without a dribble. That's a travel on Corbett. It's the Cougars' second turnover. If you're just joining us, Chicago State and UTRGV. You look at the travel again. These two teams meeting for the 30th time. Chicago State only with an 8 and 21 record against the Vaqueros, and they've lost their last 12. Looking for the first win tonight against him since 2015. Hassan Abdul Hakim on the drive and a foul against Chicago State. It's against Crawford. And he can just do that all night long. It's going to be really difficult for Chicago Saints to defend him. He's going to have a size advantage against anybody they're going to put up against him at six foot eight, and he's probably just about faster than anybody that's going to guard him, too. He finds Williams. To the outside for Brashear. Mid-ranger came up empty, and the Cougars have it now. Ked Green, who just checked in, looking for Crawford. It was stolen by Abdul Hakim. Also leads the Vaqueros in steals. Bobbling it, bullying in against Green, and just too easy for Abdul Hakim. I mean, what's better there, the footwork, the finish, or the defense on the other side, sprinting back and snagging uh, that bounce pass away from Green? It's like each stride he takes is like a normal person, two or three steps 
Vaqueros by one. We got 12.20 left in the first half. Corbett against Williams. Now five to shoot. Step back, no. Gene Charles with two, putting up a mid-ranger, and Deshaun Gene Charles is back on the board. And Deshaun Gene Charles, we said it, only one bucket in his last couple of games. He hasn't hit a two-pointer in two weeks until that one, uh, but kind of saved what was a very stagnant possession otherwise by the Cougars. And he's two for two today as the Cougars come out in a 1-3-1 zone defense. Brashear, Abdul Hakim, and now Booker. Looking to attack the zone. Booker up and under is stuffed by Gene Charles. We'll stay here, just two to shoot. And that'll take us right into immediate timeout. As you watch the defense here, look at this length. Deshaun, Gene Charles sends us to break. Cougars by one. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Right before the timeout, the 5'10 C.J. Booker goes right to the hoop, and Deshaun Gene Charles put him on a poster, Max. I mean, he just said, get that out of here. Gene Charles doing it on both ends, right? He's got five points coming off the bench. Five points was the total bench production in the win at Valpo when they won by one over the weekend. So uh, he's playing huge minutes and huge, huge dividends. Five points at five minutes. Just two to shoot for UTRGV, and Crawford a steal. Two on one. The alley-oop, Noble Crawford finishes it off. Got to love a little give it go, and Noble Crawford could get up there. Just great play in the open floor. Don't want the ball hit the ground, right? I mean. The Cougars coming out with a nice stretch in the last eight minutes or so. And back into his own defense. Why the zone? Sometimes it's just nice, especially after a break, to just vary up the looks, right? And they're going to get a charge, Offensive too. foul. Abdul Hakim bowling over Brent Davis and the feisty Davis. Good take. Let's watch it again. Yeah, just great and help defense here. Able to get positioning and, you know, Abdul Hakim is coming in there just a little bit off balance, a little out of sorts and runs right into him. How Abdul tough Hakim is Hassan? Checks out. Yep. How tough is Hassan Abdul Hakim, though? We talked about it already, but he, he comes out here for warm-ups. He's lipping everywhere, but he, he gets out there on the floor. He's moving quite well. Now Cardet saying, hey, I'm tough. Kiss it off the glass and a five-point lead. This has been a tremendous stretch here. And when Cardet can get downhill like that, he is so tough to stop. I mean, NBA scouts, I'm sure, have been watching the last couple of games, especially the Northwestern one on the road versus a Big Ten team and loving what they're seeing. Yeah, they got it. You get a point guard at six foot six with that length and big game abilities. That's a travel the second of the day for the Vaqueros. This time, Dalen Williams whistled for it. Uh, Dalen Williams, he's great around the rim. He's shooting 50% from the field, but he, he's not at his best when he's putting the ball on the floor. Uh, that was close to being an and one, but uh, just an extra step there and gets called for the turnover. Now Crawford to Cardet, who was just named National Player of the Week. Beautiful feed to Corbett, and the Cougars by seven. That's the golden combo, Cardet and Corbett. 
Cougars are on a roll right now. 6-0 run in the last 95 seconds. This is how you move the ball. Allie. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day in Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Chicago State leads by seven. Look at the vision of Wesley Cardet finding Corbett for an easy lay-in. I mean, that's just an incredible find. It's right over the top of the man defending him. It's, it splits another pair, and then you have the weak side help coming over from Elijah Elliott, who, like a cornerback, is going for the pick six there. Maybe a little bit too greedy. It skips by him. Uh, a great find, and uh, Corbett is also just playing tremendously. Eight points. He's obviously over 1,000, the leading scorer in the game so far. But don't sleep on Wesley Cardet's passing ability for assists, including a huge one that sparked that rally on Saturday. And Daylon Williams calls timeout, looking to avoid the five-second call. Cougars defense coming out with a whole lot of pressure. I mean, how about it? It's an 8-0 run. The last time out they had, Chicago State came out of it in that zone look. They said they come out full court press and to, uh, you know, avoid a five-second call. You got to burn a timeout here. And the defense for Chicago State it has been an early storyline here tonight. Chicago State is looking at this saying, hey, we know we beat the ranked team North. You don't go back to beefaroni. We've been eating beefaroni for two years. We're going to stick with the steak. So Chicago State with a win tonight would stick to the steak. Yeah, you got to love it. I mean, the man paints a, a great picture, and they're going right back with the full court press. Uh, great guy at providing quotes, too, to the media. Is it weird that it made me crave beefaroni? I'm hungry right now, honestly. Either way, I'll take either. I take steak, take beefaroni. <laughs> Send your donations to the broadcast booth. Here's Elijah Elliott takes a foul. And he'll go to the line. Elijah Elliott is another fearless short guard, the junior uh, who's got tremendous footwork when he gets down here in the post, just a little bit of contact, absorbs it, he'll go to the free throw line. You know, he looked great in the first 10 and a half minutes. Last time out on that loss to Corpus Christi, he had eight points in the first 10 and a half minutes. But where did he go down the stretch when they needed him in the final half an hour of gameplay? Only had three points. And that's for someone who averages a team high 15. Elliott, a transfer from Blinn College, where he was junior college All-American last year. He's got great form. I, I love his shot. And that three-point percentage is only going to go up. I imagine that's coming from maybe some forced looks and tough shots uh, when they needed it late, uh, trailing by a good amount. But 25%, that's only going to grow. Now Corbett on a drive, bodying up Freeman. Tip back no for Deshaun Jean Charles, but we will stay here with 20 on the shot clock. That great effort on the glass by Chicago State after the missed shot. We're seeing all of Chicago State's leading scorers. You know, it's, it's Carnett and it's Corbett getting downhill and getting all the way to the rim. Certainly their two bench scorers, and Corbett was trying to get into double figures already here. Now Cardet. Corbett, three ball. No double figures that time, but he follows his own shot. Offensive board, offensive foul, but Carrolls will take it. And that was the right call, and I think that was just a, a little bit overzealous and greedy there from Corbett. He, he missed already the layup, this possession, then he misses the three, gets it right back, and he just lowered that shoulder and just drilled him right in the chest. Sub for Chicago State to Chandre Cole checks in, just his second action of the season. Only has five minutes to his docket. 
That's 23 in the gray, who right now is defending Aaron Freeman. Elliott in the corner, gets Cardet jumping. Elliott, open look, can't convert, and Cougars the board. That's a tough one, right? Great shot fake, got Cardet in the air, and then takes a couple of dribble stops on a dime and gets Cardet to blow by him, but then he misses the shot. Crawford is nearly tackled. His defender was Barjane and a foul. I think it was Brashear that gets caught in the air here, and he's just in no man's land once he's in the air. It's only one place he's coming down, and it's always going to be right on top there of Crawford. He goes up. Down on Noble. That's probably the easiest foul call they're going to have today. Fourth team foul on UTRGV. Cougars leading by five, 846 in the first half. Cardet on the drive, fouled by Brashear. So the second foul on Brashear in seven seconds, he'll check out. Just aggressive is taking it right back at him, using that right arm to try to create some space. And just inside the cylinder, not really giving him any kind of space to move was Brashear. That's two, I mean, mighty fast fouls in quick succession. Toast of the land, Wesley Cardet Jr. I mean, if you're going to pick an area that he needs to improve upon, and there are not many whatsoever, it is at the free throw line. Just a 66% free throw shooter for someone who shoots there a ton. And keep in mind, this team, I mean, that's maybe a huge reason why they won the last two games. They got to the free throw line 22 times versus Northwestern, hit 86.4% of those free throws. That's 19 to 22. And then they were 17 to 22 the next game out. I mean, they had so many fewer shots because they lost the turnover battle and the offensive rebounding battle versus Valpo, but they were able to double them up on the free throw line. Sub for UTRGV here, Salou Say, sophomore out of Dakar, Senegal, seven footer, checks into the game. Yeah, and Max, you mentioned free throw shooting. These Vaqueros actually led the NCAA in free throw attempts last season with 25 a game. I mean, that's outrageous. And they certainly weren't playing many games sub two hours, I imagine, last year. Yeah. Our friend back in Edinburgh, Jonah <laughs> Goldberg, he was pulling some late nights as a travel is called against the Vaqueros for the third time. And Aaron Freeman also took a fall on his head. Freeman's been taking a, a beating tonight because he, he fell awkwardly earlier. This one looked pretty painful as well, and he's holding the right side of his face. Oh, God, I hope he's okay. Never want to see a hard fall, especially when it's hurting the head. And the athletic training staff will go take a look as we take one more look. Aaron Freeman, this drive slid and fell, which was the travel call. Can't really see what's happening up near the head. I have to tell him from that spot. I will say, I mean, if it's the same players out there on the floor after this little huddle and break, I mean, say it's seven foot was being guarded in the paint by Cole, and he's, he's got a seven foot height, or seven inch, excuse me, height advantage. Uh, we got another angle of this Freeman fall. Oh, and looks like he took an inadvertent knee. Yeah, it was a little Noel knee, Crawford. I think, from Crawford. Unintentional, and that's tough, but a knee to the head. It's insult to injury with the turnover, too. And we'll step aside. 8-19 in the first. Cougars by six. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day, Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Aaron Freeman took an inadvertent knee to the head, certainly hoping he's okay as he gets taken into the locker room. 
8.15 left in the first half. Chicago State leading UTRGV by six, gunning for their third straight win after a historic week for the program. On the drive, Green whipping to Gene Charles. To Cardet, National Player of the Week. Now a Crawford three, and rebound goes to Booker. Not much in the way of height or a post presence out there for Chicago State right now. It's say the seven footer did stay in after that break for UTRGV. We'll see if they go down low to him. He's being guarded well, Booker by lost Cardet his shoe. right now. He just picked it up. See that yellow shoe? He just got it on as Elliott drives. Met by a double team and somehow shimmies out of it, drawing a foul. I'm telling you, his footwork was really impressive on Saturday, especially in the first half. He was terrific. And look, at he just gets lost here. He gets double teamed, absorbed what is probably a foul right there. Maybe slid the pivot foot a bit, but I mean, he's probably hoping he got that and one, but couldn't get the bunny. That immediate timeout, seven and a half left. First half, Chicago State is up. It's game day, Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Chicago State up six, seven and a half left in the first. Hope you are all having a wonderful Monday night alongside Max Toma and our championship crew, Sam Brief with you. So how about the Chicago State team? What they accomplished last week. The first win over a ranked program in school history, taking down number 25 Northwestern in Evanston. And then following that up with a nearly buzzer beating win and a comeback over Valparaiso. I mean, in what I imagine is, is certainly the best week in program history. I mean, to go on the road to Evanston, a team that 10 days prior had just taken down the number one team in the country for the second year in a row in Purdue at Welsh Ryan Arena. And Northwestern was looking for their first home win as a ranked team since 1959. So they had a lot on the line that day, too. So people have a lot of fun then with the whole transitive property thing, right? Yeah. Northwestern over Purdue, Chicago State over Northwestern. So Chicago State over Purdue, which right now is the number one team in the land. Just That's how down it works. Arizona. That's definitely how it works. Right? That's how I was taught in school. Five to shoot for Green. Nifty pass finds Davis. And offensive board now for Tashandre Cole, who muscles in his first bucket of the season. How about that? We haven't seen much from Cole this year, and how fortunate was that first pass? It skips right through Crawford's arms, finds a wide open Brent Davis. They miss the three, but then uh, another look, another crack at it right at the rim. And just Cole's second game action of the year. Elijah Elliott finding Booker. Elliott a three. Offensive board in the corner, that's freshman J.J. Howard, and then Crawford finds a steal. Cardet's pockets picked, and it'll stay with the Cougars. And that's a lack of communication because you can see that coming from a mile away. Somebody's got to tell Cardet Jr. there's somebody sprinting up right behind him about to pick his pocket. Williams entering for Barjane. Here's a look at the third-year head coach, Matt Figger. 
2017 Ohio Valley Coach of the Year. And Cardet splashes a three. Wow, I mean, that was from NBA ranks. That was deep, and they're up by nine now. And I mean, they've been even better defensively today. No field goals in the last 6-15 for UTRGV. Massive drought for a team that's just three and eight. Desperate for a win. Williams on Cole. Booker hoisting one, not even close. Cole smothers the rebound. How about Cole hitting the deck on defense, crashing the rebounds on offense? A lot of effort for someone who hasn't played much this year, so make the most of your time. This is a huge height advantage right yeah. here for Cardell. 6 6 on 5 10. Can't hit the three. And Cole bumped Williams on the rebound. So foul on Cole. Williams on the deck again. It's been a bruising type of a game for the Vaqueros. I think you're okay with this foul of your coach Gilliam. It's a guy who does not get many minutes. Six foot five sophomore from Toronto and Cole who's just out there and he's living on the edge with the aggressiveness. It was the seventh team foul for Chicago State. So free throws now for the 67% free throw shooter, Dalen Williams. So Chicago State, got to give them credit following up that euphoric high of the Northwestern win, the first ranked win in school history, with a win on the road against Valparaiso, a very gritty comeback. And Williams hits the first. Max, they were down big. I mean, down nine with 3.15 left. You were thinking that was kind of a, a spot, if you will, and it's always hard to predict, but, you, you know, for kind of a letdown effort, right? You just had the biggest win in program history on the road. Now you make another short drive to the Hoosier State to a, an always very capable uh, Valpo squad. You bite that in the butt with a late victory, and now you come back home. And I mean, trying to win three in a row in December is no easy task. Cougars are looking for three wins in a row. Vaquero's looking to avoid five losses in their last six. That's be. what's at stake tonight. And a steal, foul on Corbett. It'll send Booker to the charity strike. That's also Corbett's third foul in this one. I mean, I mean, he puts it down on the deck, he loses it, and then he just goes aggressively after it and falls, I mean, right on top of Booker's head almost there. That's an easy call. And, that's a third one, and that's a tough one, too. And this, this lineup out there right now for UTRGV is huge right now with Williams, with Say, and then you've got uh, Abdul Hakim as well. That's 6'8 Abdul Hakim, 6'8 Williams, and 7 foot Say. I don't, I don't think they get much bigger in terms of the five they're going to put out there. Obviously, you got Booker at the free throw line, who's 5'10. Who's not huge, although taller than I think both of us. I would probably list myself at 5'10", though. because You I, would? I don't think Booker's Like on a basketball roster? But yeah. I well, mean, then it's nobody, a free for all. I might go listed, six feet. Nobody who's listed at exactly six feet has ever in the history of mankind <laughs> actually been six feet in terms of basketball players. Scanning the rosters right now. <laughs> if you find a yeah, six-footer, no he's 5'10". We got no one. We got a six-one-er. Right now it's Cardet who is comfortably 6'6". He is six foot six. Oh, what a fake. DJC misses Say the Board. Five minutes left in the first half. Chicago State up five. And UTRGV doesn't have a field goal in seven and a half minutes. Elliott shimmies past Gene Charles and gets blocked again to Sean's second rejection. I mean, C.J. Booker has incredible handles. Uh, his crossover is killer. He, he's low to the floor at 5'10". He is in amongst the trees and in amongst the traffic trying to get this shot up. And the spring in his step. And into Say, the seven-footer kisses it off the glass. First bucket in eight minutes for the Vaqueros. It's crazy to say first bucket in eight minutes. And I mean, this is a three-point game right now in the first half. But great out of bounds play, easy look for the seven-footer. Chicago right the State simply hasn't taken advantage. Green after some hesitation, and Neal gets a Christmas present and two points. Timeout, UTRGV with 421 left in the first, and that'll send us to a timeout. Cougars by five, sniffing their third win in a row. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? 
We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. UTRGV led by Mike Figger, who's scribbling on his little scribble board down there. This is a team match that has struggled this season, three and eight on the year, but they find themselves down only five in spite of making only six shots. The only one made bucket, obviously, in the last eight minutes that ended that lengthy drought, but I mean, they've been keeping this game at least somewhat close because 11 to 12 from the free throw line. It's not a great three point shooting or free throw shooting team, 68%. That's 260th in the country, but 11 to 12 today. They're getting there a ton, and they're making their free looks. If you're a Vaqueros fan, you say, all right, we have not played well, but we're well within striking distance. Maybe that's a win. Here's Say, the seven-footer driving, and Davis comes up with the board. And that's just a forced shot and a double team. To he throws this. it right to Booker, and Booker wide open for the layup. The Vaqueros within a possession. I mean, I don't even know what you're saying about that turnover. He pretty much just handed it to him right at the center court logo, and Booker just caught it in a full sprint the other way. Now 2-3 zone defense. Green looking for someone, and it's Cardet. Davis, a three ball. Got it. Brent Davis, his first three of the night, and oh, no. Wesley Cardet is on the ground and holding what appears to be his chin. Yeah, he might have taken a shot to the collarbone area or the neck there. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe it is that left shoulder. And Wesley Cardet, undoubtedly Chicago State's best player. I'll have to pray he's all right here. You see him in the middle of your screen. Yeah, well, look, took an elbow. Yeah, took an elbow from Damon Williams and looked like towards that collarbone neck area on his left side. We talked about him, mean, Dickie V, Andy Katz, both of them had him, had Cardet, that is, as their national players of the week from last week, average of 29 over two games, two huge wins. I mean, the best week in program history and as a guy who's on many draft boards right now. He's helped up as his coach, Gerald Gillian, comes over to check on him. Wesley Cardet projected a second round pick in the NBA draft, and certainly any Cougar fan is praying that that young man is okay. And great to see him jogging off and Looks like he's still in game mode. He's not going anywhere near the locker room. Oh, that's a tough kid. I mean, he is just an incredible talent out there on the floor, but also just a, a brilliant competitor as well. Looks like they'll review this one, possibly for a flagrant foul. Davis makes the three, and then Cardet was elbowed hard by Dalen Williams. Yeah, and this is tough because, I mean, there's, I think, clearly no intent there. He's just trying to go box out, but uh, the Williams a little bit taller and that arm just got a little bit high and it didn't look good on the rate play and certainly it was quite a hit but I wouldn't think anything excessive here. So now we await the call. I think body language will tell us a lot. How does Gerald Gillian react to this edict from the official Justin Albrecht? Hard to tell. We'll see in a moment. But for the meantime, Chicago State up six. Clock reading 3.30 left in the first half. 
And looks like no foul call because Williams is set to pass it in. I guess they say that was inadvertent contact. I think that's the correct call. I'm watching it again. Give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Now the officials meeting again. For those of you just joining us, Chicago State UTRGV tonight. The 30th meeting between these two programs and UTRGV has won each of the last 12. Right. So far, Chicago State outplaying them. I think this was just a substitution thing and Cardet having to stay out. Yeah. If you're helped off by the trainers, you gotta stay out, at least for the next possession. So he's on the bench right now and watching some good defense. But Vaqueros break it with ease. Say missing the layup, and they get a second chance. This is Elliott, and he lost it. Steal for Crawford. Cougars have numbers, but Cole just threw it away. That's messy. Yeah, they were going to go quickly. They were going to have a five on four, like you said. And this is Cole, not a guy who plays a ton of minutes. Doesn't too frequently have the ball in the open court like that either, or just a, a wayward pass. And now Cardet coming back in to settle things down. He replaces Brent Davis. And it is a delight to see Cardet back on his feet playing after that hard fall. Williams, the spin, and he got stripped. Coog's in transition. This is Green to Cole now, bullying his way in. Lost it. Second chance, no. And Vaquero's ball. And yeah, that's what Say's presence can do for rim protection here. His Cole had position, it looked like initially he gets stripped, loses it, tries to go right back up, but Say is there to turn it and catch it right aside, and it goes right back down off of Cole on the way up. Now seven feet tall, 220 pounds, native of Dakar, Senegal. Came to the States to go to high school in Dallas, then to Ellsworth Community College in Mississippi, and then to UTRGV, which is out in Edinburgh, Texas. Booker on the drive, finds Say, and the ball's on the ground, jump ball, it'll stay with 2.22 on the clock. Oh, it's a great idea, but it's a bad pass. You can't make a seven-footer bend all the way down to his waist to try to grab this. Now the ball's low and it's anybody's. You've taken away his height advantage. Uh, a pass there that's much higher, that's gonna be an easy, quick dunk. Yeah, that's a great point. Pass it to where he has an advantage. He took it away from him as Davis and Jernigan enter. Because you like the idea, you, you like, I mean, El Elliot drive it, created some space. He found his big man down low right next to the rim, but didn't put him in an opportune position. Now it's Booker for the Vaqueros, shooting it over Neal, and it's Jernigan who hauls in the board. Two to go in the first half, Chicago State up six, vying for their third straight win. Last Cougars three-game win streak, by the way, was last February, a trio of home wins as the season wound down. Cougars were 8-0 at home last year. Nice passing out to Crawford, and his pocket is picked by Elliott. Vaquero's in transition. Abdul Hakim with the Euro step. He's whistled for an offensive foul. Oh, that's one I got to see again. Yeah, I thought Brett Davis went down pretty easy, and Abdul Hakim did a good job to avoid him here in transition. We got you with the replay here. Let's watch Hakim. Oh, I don't know that he, he might have grazed him there. Barely made contact. That's a tough one to go against a guy who's been absolutely balling here, here in December. Give Davis an Oscar, taking his second oh, yeah. charge, I mean, minimal contact. Yeah, you might need to see that one from another angle and a, a side perspective there, but hey, there was really not much in it. Hey, you'll take what you can get, and Brent Davis can take it. Neal between his legs, teardrop is in for AJ. What a soft touch that was. Just a beautiful teardrop. Neal's first bucket. Nearing a minute left in the half. Here comes a screen from Say. He rolls, doesn't get the ball. Booker. Finding him, but Crawford interrupting the pass. To Cardet, smooth finish for Wes. That might have been an and-wide, too, that they did call, but what a great finisher in transition on the full sprint. Length puts his right hand just right at the rim. 
And looks like Cardet is all right. He's got a game high 10 points. 40 seconds left in the half. Elliott knifing in. He's met by a foul. Goes against Brent Davis and Elijah Elliott to the free throw line. Yeah, who's quietly got seven points. He's only one of six from the field, but he's been getting to the free throw line a ton because I'm telling you, the footwork, the shot fanks down low for an undersized guard in Elliott. Uh, Elijah's been doing a great job of getting to the free throw line today. Booker getting some instruction as Elliott heads to the line looking for more points. Elijah transfer out of Blinn College, missing only the second free throw of the day for his team. We're trying to end a, a seminal run right now. Cougars have led this for all but five minutes. As they can virtually hold for the final shot after this with 34.8 on the clock. And Elliott true on the second. So nine point lead, probably the final offensive possession for the Cougars this half. After historic road wins against Northwestern and Valparaiso, Chicago State aiming to keep momentum in their favor. 15 on the clock. Neal with 10 on the ground. He finds Crawford, nifty. Crawford mid-range. And the rebound goes to UTRGV. Back to Neal, hoisting it up and nearly in. Ooh, Neal almost pulled it off, but his Cougars are up nine anyway. Chicago State has owned the week. Let's see if they can keep it going as we're at halftime. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. at Chicago State in September of 2022, her main top priority was to find us a conference. And today, we are celebrating the culmination of that process. We are here today uh, because we've been offered and we've accepted conference membership invitation to the Northeast Conference. I'm really happy to say that Chicago State in South Beach style will be bringing our talents to the Northeast Conference. Over the last 18 months, uh, so Chicago State University has been engaged in several conversations, meetings, phone calls, emails, trips. I thank Commissioner Morris for your leadership of the Northeast Conference. Uh, your leadership with tenacity and leading uh, really made it a good fit for us, and we are happy to call the NEC home. 
Uh, I would like to acknowledge our head coaches, our support staff, and our student athletes. Uh, over the last year and a half, you've done something very difficult in this industry, and that is compete as a Division I independent. If you are not familiar with conference realignment and membership invitations, uh, one of the things I can share with you is while the athletic directors are the ones that you all see day to day, uh, these decisions happen on a presidential level. Uh, so I want to take time to really just thank President Scott uh, for out of all the things that the president President should be doing. She really carved out special time for Chicago State Athletics to make sure that this was a priority for not just myself, but for her. So for that, I really want to say thank you for getting us to today. I am so excited to be here today to celebrate Chicago State University's acceptance into the Northeast Conference. This is a special day for the Cougar community and the entire NEC community. I'd like to thank President Scott and Mona and Carol for their leadership, as well as the Board of Directors or the Board of Trustees here at Chicago State University. It is your leadership and your vision in getting us to here today is incredibly impressive. It is clear that Chicago State University is in good hands with leaders like these. And the NEC community is so thrilled to be part of the magic that you are building here on campus and in this community. The NEC presidents, uh, as Monique mentioned, this is a presidential driven decision, not only here on campus, but within, the, within our conference structure. Our presidents voted unanimously to offer acceptance or offer this invitation uh, to the NEC, and we're excited to activate a long-term partnership. I am thrilled, as your president, to accept this invitation to join the NEC. My top priority as a president is to strive what is, what is best for CSU and its students. This conference will help ensure an incredible future for our program. The strong alignment between the conference members and universities in our values and mission made this an easy decision. We are joining a conference that not only offers a first-class competitive experience, but also a conference that shares our commitment to supporting student-athletes' holistic success and advancing the values of diversity, equity, and inclusion. You know that the landscape of collegiate sports is ever-involving. The mo the mo this move advances the university's position in that landscape. Our student athletes will access elevated athletic programming, and the NEC conference will help Chicago State reach a larger audience of potential students beyond the borders of the, our city. Our brand will have a bigger presence in major East Coast markets like Boston, New York, and Philadelphia. Thank you to the board of NEC for your unanimous approval, Commissioner Morris for your visit here today and your partnership, and thank you to our coaches and student athletes. Together, Cougars are reaching new heights. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. It's game day in Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. 
For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. At Chicago State University, you'll find five academic colleges. 56 degree programs in all. Our School of Pharmacy is number one in the Midwest for educating minority student scholars. We're ranked first in Illinois and second nationwide among public universities for educating and supporting African-American student scholars. We've achieved 100% job placement in nursing, pharmacy, and occupational therapy. We're number two in the nation for graduating black physics majors. For economic mobility, CSU is in the top 4% nationwide among all colleges and universities. And you get the attention you deserve because on average, there are only 10 students for every faculty member. We have some of the best professors, some of the best mentors. You have people that uplift you, that will open doors for you, that will help you. It's an opportunity where you're able to make a change. Chicago State University, put your career in motion, your connection to friends and professors in motion, put your future in motion. Chicago State University. Hey, back here in Chicago alongside Max, I'm Sam. Chicago State's on top of UTRGV, 36-27. Wes Cardet, Deshaun Corbett, Max, they were the two stars that first half. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the two guys that were really the stars of the show last week when the program had their best week ever, uh, getting it done again. And immediately, I mean, 10 seconds in, uh, Corbett joins the 1,000-point club. And then uh, we saw some nice early scoring, really, from UTRGV, right? Ellie with that smooth shot. He did a great job of getting to the line. Line. Uh, follow your shot, kids, right? Jeet Charles, five points early, match the bench total uh, from last time out. That was tremendous uh, early start for him. And then, uh, you know, Aaron Freeman, he, he's taken a couple of really hard falls. We haven't seen him in a long time after those early locks. Jeet Charles again. Um, but yeah, very entertaining first half, right? At times, it's felt more like a playground football game. Everyone falling on the ground. This was a nice alley-oop from Davis to Crawford. And for Chicago State, the story of this game is the National Player of the Week who just sunk that three. Wes Cardet and his crew looking to keep momentum going. Back-to-back -back wins against Northwestern and Valparaiso. They've come out with a little pep in their step today as they look to beat UTRGV for the first time in eight years. We'll be back in about two minutes with half two, UTRGV and Chicago State. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. 
Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers. One love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn, Chicago State University. Hey, happy Monday. Back here in Chicago for the second half. Chicago State on top of UTRGV by nine. All right, Max. Well, we saw the Cougars own most of that first half. What do they need to do more of in half two? I mean, I would say just do the same, right? I think defensively they've been doing a great job just uh, letting UTRGV, though, but they've been getting to the line too much of late, so I'd say, I'd say maybe fewer fouls in the paint, but uh, I really liked everything that Chicago State's really been bringing to the floor. The effort's been great. Garnett's only shot the ball four times, right? And they're leading by nine here at halftime. He's made three shots. He's at double figures as well. Uh, their go-to players have just been so consistent for them, especially here in December, and that's been the case today. UTRGV this season has been one of the worst teams in the country at defending the three and at shooting the three. How have you seen that come to life today? Uh, well, I mean, shooting the three, uh, we know that they're shooting about 28% and they're giving up about 10 per percentage points better, right? They give up about 38% uh, uh, makes on the other side. I, I think they defended the three pretty well. Chicago State hasn't attempted a, a ton of them, so we'll see what that looks like in the second half they just haven't been getting the open looks right outside of that early one that Elliot hit they haven't really had many many good clean open shots with tons of airspace we'll see if they try to maybe move it around a little bit more they've been at their best when they've been driving addition to guys uh, already deep in the paint see if the Cougars can add another banner here at the Jones Convocation Center coming off a historic week with a win over the Big Ten's Northwestern First Big Ten win in program history. Previously, the Cougars were 0 and 64, but then took down the Wildcats in Evanston last Wednesday. Coming out in the second half, an early foul call goes against Seiyu Say. His first foul of the half, 10 seconds in. I know you went to Northwestern, but there's maybe nothing more Northwestern than beating number one at home and 10 days later losing as a 25-point favorite. Yeah, you can't enjoy anything for too long, <laughs> right? That's sort of life as a Northwestern sports fan. Here's Corbett for Chicago State. Now Crawford on the drive, and he's rejected by the rim, follows his own shot, and then takes a foul against Howard. What effort for Crawford. I don't think Crawford was going to be happy with the layup attempt on either of these looks. He was trying to go for the post of the first time. He just came up a little bit short with the defense from Say, but it falls right back to him. And instead of going for the layup, he tried to throw that down with one hand. Gerald Gillian calls him a throwback type of player, and you see a lot of the grittiness that he displays. You know, Noble Crawford. Crawford's got four steals already in this game. Mm -hmm. Also the team's leading blocker. He's just that scrappy kind of player. It's fun to watch. Crawford, a transfer from Long Island University. Member of the NEC, the Northeastern Conference, which Chicago State will be joining next year. Segway King right there. That's right. <laughs> On the drive, Williams gets fouled. Guilty party, Cam Jernigan, and Williams on the floor for the third time today. You already see the Kleenex in his nostril from an elbow. And now here's a foul that put him on the deck. Yeah, had a look to try to get this hand one as well, but you can already see he's a little worse for the wear with a little bit of cloth there in that nostril, but heading back to the free throw line. A tough for Dalen Williams. Last year, UTRGV's male newcomer of the year. Transferred to UTRGV from the College of Southern Idaho. Joining 
Matt Figures staff. And Williams gets it within 10. So Chicago State has attempted 13 more shots today. 13 of the 28 points for UTRGV have come from the free throw line. So not a lot of field goals, but a lot of free throws. That's been the formula for this team coming out in a zone look here. Around to Cardet. Crawford, three ball, bingo. Noble sticks it. Just loving the motion from the offense. Carnett comes off the screen, kicks it right back to Crawford, cutting out, turns, faces, and just lights it up. Great three-point shooter, too. That's his first of the night. And a nice step through for Williams. Out of bounds off a of Cougar. And they'll stay with UTRGV and 20 on the shot clock. That was just great offense on the other end for the Cougars. That was probably one of their better possessions. And that is a wide open look from three that we were talking about. UTRGV struggling to get themselves. And it was against his own defense, which you might expect, as the Cougars shift to his zone now. Both teams have been going from zone to man pretty consistently. And Elliott hoists it, no dice. Rebound is a jump ball. It'll stay with the Vaqueros. You know, I like the idea coming in because both these defenses have really struggled this year, so they vary in the zone, the man, and the full quarter, the full court press as well as the three quarter press. Pressure right after half court, and that was just a nice play by Elliott to keep the ball right here. So Howard will pass it in. Fresh 20 for the Vaqueros. And the bounce feed to an open Williams who makes him pay. Great draw up play right there. You have the clear out and then just a ton of space for the easy bucket. Just the eighth made shot from the floor for the Vaqueros. Now down 11. Two minutes into half two. Cardet, National Player of the Week. Crawford finding Jernigan. Two-hand slam led to a foul. It's the second one against Salu Se. But on the drive it dish, this is where you feed a big man who's making a cut from the weak side. Jernigan gets it and then tries to go up and get the flush, but just a nice little shovel pass in. And we got the Cougar mascot in the house tonight. Making his first appearance of the season. Guess you beat a ranked team, you get the mascot. I haven't seen the Cougar until today. He's enjoying himself. Those are some whiskers, man. Those are robust whiskers. Here's Camp Jernigan with the mascot staring him down. Hits it, and the Cougar's up a dozen. So Chicago State looking for a three-game win streak. UTRGV looking to extend a win streak against Chicago State. That's at 12. Right now, huge advantage for the Cougars. And Elliott has it. Thinking about the shot, he'll pass it. Booker, a three ball. Yes, sir. C.J. Booker hits just the second three of the day for UTRGV. Great find from Elliott, got stuck, got double teamed on the baseline, able to pivot, turn, and skip it over to the opposite wing. And there is a nice, easy opportunity from beyond the arc to try to get the confidence going for Booker. He's 5 of 13 on the season. Now Cardet tries, and rebound to the Vaqueros. Can UTRGV start to turn? Elliott being patient here, driving on Cardet. That's a tough task. So he goes to Williams, who is fouled hard by Corbett. The fourth foul on Jashawn if they get him for it. And that might be on Cole, or rather Jernigan. More great offense, though. Last trip down the floor. Love what we saw from the set. And then this time, it was a lot of dribbling for Booker that ultimately creates a, a chance down low for Williams at the rim. And hey, he's been so close a couple times to getting these and ones. It is Jernigan for the foul. His second. Now Williams can bring him within seven. Good on the first. 
Now some subs to Sean Jean Charles for Chicago State coming in for Corbett. And for UTRGV, it's Sherman Brashear along with Isaiah Barginet. Well, this is going to be free throw attempt number 18 already. Still 17 minutes to go. Cougars have attempted 10. Now UTRGV just below 20. Daylin Williams out of Fairfax High School in LA, in and out. And Cougars have it up by eight against a 2-3 zone. Davis driving, Davis fouled. Guilty party is Barjanay. And Brent Davis will attempt numbers 11 and 12 from the stripe. Yeah, gets going downhill after he gets the screen, sees the wide open space. He's got the wide open mouth as he's driving Screaming. down. And Barjade picking up the foul. 75% free throw shooter. Love the gaping mouth wide open for Davis. That was the look of somebody who turned the corner and just saw a lane to Ooh. the rim. Davis, a great personality. We caught up with him pregame. He said that win against Northwestern was the biggest moment in his personal basketball career. Someone who won a state championship in high school in Miramar, Florida. Started college at the Citadel in South Carolina. Now to Chicago State as Crawford steals it for the Cougars. Neal pops a tray, bangs it in. Cougars by 13. That great idea, Barge just didn't come out, didn't have a hand up to contest. Found a little space, let it fly and drained it. And Chicago State letting it fly from downtown. Four of 11 on the night. Driving Elliott. Finds Brashear in and out. Vaqueros continue to struggle shooting. Cardet to the can. He makes it look so easy. I mean, when he is out there in transition, it is just simply automatic. It's Chicago State foot on the gas right now, up by 15. And now here's Dalen Williams driving, spun into a foul. That's, that's a bailout call because that was going nowhere. Gene Charles whistled for it, and it takes us to the under 16 timeout. Here's that foul sending us to the break. A little slap on the waist, maybe. I don't know. 15.45 left. Cougs by 15. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Well, Wesley Cardet has caught the nation's attention and finishing moves like this are what? I mean, that's just easy. And I kind of like the anticipation there from Crawford, who was looking to the outlet on the other side on the right, saw his man jump that way and kind of changed his mind and idea mid-air there, dishes it to his left instead. And uh, if I'm in transition with the basketball, Cardet is always the guy I'm going to be looking for. Almost an automatic bucket in transition. Wesley Cardet. 30 points in the histor historic win against Northwestern. 28 and a game-winning layup in the road win against Valpo. He was named National Player of the Week by Dick Vitale by the NCAA. 
well earned for the projected second round pick to the NBA draft. So 7-0 run in less than a minute too. Yeah, Cougars up 15. We got 15 minutes left in the ball game. Booker, Elliott, just seven to shoot. Elliott on Gene Charles, can't find anything, but down low at the last second, he finds Barjane. Got an off a timeout. They had an absolutely nothing going there for about 28 and a half seconds, but Elliott, give him some credit, he did not panic, and he found Barjane down low for an easy buck. Not how you start, Max. How you finish. Here's Cardetta, three ball, and rebound hauled in by Williams. West Cardet today, one for four from downtown. And Bashir, no, not even close. And you can get that shot at any point. That's that's forced and only letting a few seconds go by on the shot clock. Cardet up and under. He was fouled by Barjane. So we get West Cardet's third trip to the charity stripe. The menacing look in his eyes as he drives, but so controlled. Hey, you kind of expect him to get the bucket and get the and one there, but he's so tough driving down the baseline, left hand or right hand, doesn't matter. 14.48 on the clock, second half. Again, apologies to those of you at home, you know, looking for the score, or looking for the, the time, rather. And Cardet puts the Cougs at 50. Some Chicago State subs now. Noble Crawford is in. And so is Greg Spate. That Chicago State Cougar, he is not in. His whiskers are too big for regulation. He's got his arms crossed, though. He, he's waiting for Carnett to hit both these free throws before he reacts. Uh, Spate's first appearance of the day, by the way. That'll get a nice golf clap, I'm sure, from, from the Coug. I'll clap for you. <laughs> 15-point lead, Spate on the ball, fresh into the game. Spate is a freshman out of Plantation, Florida, who coach Gerald Gillian calls perhaps our best prospect by the end of his career. Elliott is fouled by Crawford. What a foul happy half this has been. That is team foul number four on Chicago State and the ninth overall foul of half two. Yeah, it's Bronte arms down. G. Charles didn't go straight up. You're going to get that called 10 times out of 10. 19th and 20th free throws for the Vaqueros about to be released. Number 19 is good. Remember, this is a UTRGV team that last season led the nation in free throw attempts, shooting 25 a game and making 17 and a half a game. That number ranked fourth. I mean, Elliott himself is seven of eight right now. Really, free throws are the only reason they're within reasonable striking distance. The Caros have only made 10 field goals today. Yeah, they, I mean, seven in the first half is just not heard of. So they're down 13 at the 14 minute mark. Spate in the corner. I, mean, I think the bench really wanted him to let that fly. Yeah, clearly, <laughs> ready to flash the threes. Gene Charles put a man on skates. Can't make him pay. UTRGV ball. This is one on three, and Elliott nearly won the battle. It ends up in Cougar hands with Corbett. Tough spot. He almost got that. Finish it amongst the trees, though. Oh, what a move for Cardet. Can't finish. Vaquero's ball. And where is Abdul Hakeem been right offensively? He has attempted one shot. A guy coming off back-to-back 23-point -back efforts has three points today. In only 10 minutes. Maybe that ankle is bothering him. Here's a three ball for Brashear. Only one three today for UTRGV. And a foul is whistled against Barjane. That's against the Vaqueros. And Barjane will check out. Say comes in for him. A little more height with the seven-foot Senegalese man. And Jernigan for Chicago State. I would say Chicago State's picked up right where they left off after the first 20 minutes, right? They've come out looking very strong. Outscored UTR and GB 15 to 11 so far here in the second half. Both offenses have been flying. Cougars were up nine at halftime. Now 13-point lead and another foul. This time it's Abdul Hakim with his third. So three points, three fouls in 11 minutes. Not his night. 
And he will take a seat. I guess that left hand looked like on the back side. I'm going to imagine that's where they got the foul, but it's been a little whistle happy here in the first seven minutes. And he's kind of limping to the bench. Really wonder if that ankle is bothering him. As Cardet rattles in the first. Abdul Hakim on the bench. It's going to be a free throw filled second half for Chicago State, too, already in the bonus. Cardet splits him. Six of eight on the night. 13 minutes left in the second half and what's turned into a foul frenzy. Cougars in a zone D. They've been switching regularly. And on the layup, that's Williams. Grown man move. That's just a quick spin right into the cycle. Just gets right past Corbin, right to his left hand at the rim. Carr did a fancy move right to the can, in and out. The transition offense now for the Vaqueros. Brashear lobbing it to his point guard, C.J. Booker. On the drive, it's Elliott, too easy, fouled by Corbett. Here come the Vaqueros within 10. That's a huge moment there, because this is foul number four on Corbett. And Elliott, he just saw a guy guarding him who's, he's gonna have that step on, puts it down with his left hand, just blows right past him, turns the Jets on, gets the bucket, and the foul, and Corbett's gotta hit the bench. Yeah, so Corbett scored eight points in the first few minutes of the game. And now he's got four fouls, taking a seat, where he's replaced by Brent Davis. That might be a play to remember for a while because Corbett could be sitting for a long time with 12.25 still to go. So momentum with UTRGV. Down nine and the Cougars haven't scored from the floor in three and a half minutes. Let's see if Cardet can change that. At the baseline, he finds Davis. What a cut. Offensive board to Cole. Back up, yes sir, to Chandre Cole, and one. Just a great cut from the weak side wing. Gets it started for Brett Davis. He can't get the bucket to go, but Cole has been aggressive, crashing the offensive glass. Looking to fight through a couple of defenders. Brings the ball down, puts it on the floor again. Able to get right back up, though. Strong finish. Coming into the game, we had seen virtually nothing from Tashandre Cole this season. Had appeared in only one game with three minutes. And another Chicago State foul is the sixth team foul. It'll take us to immediate timeout as you watch the Elliott drive, the Davis bump, and the Cougars are up 11 on the verge of their third straight win. Back after this. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. It's game day in Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. 
Chicago State and UTRGV, their 30th meeting in men's basketball. Cougars looking to take down the Vicaros for the first time in eight years. We got 12 minutes left in what has turned into a foul fest. How about this from Tashandre Cole, the end one. Yeah, Cole's been making great use of the minutes he's been out there on the floor. I mean, four points in just five minutes, also three rebounds, couple on the offensive side. He's been to the free throw line too. And he might be playing a few more minutes than what you would normally expect even down the stretch here with Corbett in foul trouble. We got three guys in the game already that have four fouls. Just Sean Corbett for Chicago State along with Salou Say, the seven-footer for UTRGV and Isaiah Bargene for UTRGV. We've had 14 fouls in the second half between the two teams. And any foul means free throws the rest of the way now for both teams. Here's Booker for the Vaqueros. Down 11, the 5'10 transfer. And Abdul Hakim back into the game. He's got three fouls. Abdul Hakim putting Cole on skates. It's one on three right now. And a jump ball will give possession to the Cougars. Man, Abdul Hakim looked lost. Yeah, that's a man going one on maybe about four at one point there, and he brings the ball down low enough where Davis, even on his short stature, is able to get two hands in there, strong hands at that, and force the turnover. So Cardet initiates the offense. Cardet, a powerful drive and just heaving it at the basket. It'll give the Vaqueros a transition chance. Sort of bobbling the ball there and a travel called against Booker. Yeah, that was kind of Davis again making it tough. He got right in his face. I don't think he thought he was going to be this close and it's just kind of awkward with yeah. the footwork and that's easy call. I mean, I don't know why the bench was so outraged by that. That's an easy travel. How difficult is that play to make what Booker did handling and bobbling the ball? Well, he saw his man making a beeline for the hoop. He was trying to make that quick touch pass. Probably didn't expect Davis to come out that far and that quickly on. So an important stretch here. No Cardet in the game. Corbett did just check back in and he watches Williams blow by him and then miss an easy slam. Oh, he's trying to put Corbett on a poster. No dice. And that's a tough one there for Williams. He looks back just to see that Corbett isn't too close. Checks back a second time and then just tries to rock the rim and bring the hammer back. I mean, that shot all the way out of bounds. And after a 30-second rest, Wes Cardet is back in. Just enough to recharge the batteries. It's like one of those iPhone superchargers. Here's Corbett. In the game with four fouls. Got to be careful. Nice spin move. And the rebound goes to Abdul Hakim. So close. Howard, who's been quiet today. Working on Cardet, the stingiest defender. And Cardet swats it away. Williams for a second chance. He's one on three. The open man is Booker. No on the three. Only two today for the Vaqueros. Great job on the offensive glass. Reload to a wide open three. That's right where Booker hit his last one. Now Cardet around the perimeter to DJC. Driving in, he gets fouled hard and he'll go to the line. Cougars are in the bonus. And the foul's against Williams. And this looked just like the Cardet drive we saw a few minutes ago. G. Charles puts it on the floor. He opts to stop and go for that little fadeaway. Not a ton of contact, but two free throws. How hard is it to avoid a foul in a situation like that? I mean, it's always tough on the baseline, right? You think you got that extra defender there, but as, as soon as the offensive player leans in a little bit, you're right there, and it's a call that's always going to be made. Sort of in no man's land on the baseline as Gene Charles Goes two for two. Yeah, you get that kind of positioning like G. Charles had, it, it's going to be easy to at least get a trip to the free throw line. Yeah, always advantage to the man with the ball there. As we have 10 to go, second half, Cougars are up big. 
In the corner, Abdul Hakim finally shoots it and after hesitation, splashes in his first three. And he's a three level scorer. He was two or three from deep last time out. The one miss was an air ball, but the two makes just look just like that. And second guessed himself, still shot it over the defender and that looked pure. Yeah, the man's a beast, but only six points tonight in 13 minutes. So he also attempted 14 free throws last time out. And Abdul Hakim has, has only been to the line for two attempts and he missed one so far today. These two teams have already combined, Max, for 40 free throws. We got a lot left. 9.30 on the clock as Crawford goes to Davis. Cole again to Chandre Cole is now at six points a season high. Just enough control on that cut to finish it right at the rim. Sophomore out of W.T. White High School in Dallas to Williams down low is blocked by Cole and then the whistle comes against to Chandra. Williams has been on the ground at least eight, nine times. Yeah, it's been a long Monday for him. I'm, I'm sure he's going to have some ice tomorrow. And, you know, Cole does a great job initially of going straight up, but he certainly brings that right arm down uh, and hacks him. It's foul seven already for the team. Daylin Williams from Cleveland State to the College of Southern Idaho to UTRGV. Like so many in modern college basketball, a journeyman. Good on the first. That transfer portal really changing everything in just about every sport. You're always looking for a home where you can get some major playing time and major minutes, right? And make a difference out there on the floor, too. Home is where the minutes are. Seven footer out of Senegal, Salou Say, then replaces Williams. Say transferred from Ellsworth Community College down in Mississippi. And now with a nine minute mark of the second half, Cougs still up 10. Nice feed to Davis and off the beautiful cut, banking it home. High off the glass, pretty firm off the glass too, but got the friendly bounce. Elliott driving, Elliott coming up empty and here comes Chicago State with numbers. Too fast. Hit off of Davis's hands. Well, I think that's an occasion where Crawford would have been better off just keeping it himself. Maybe a, a pass fake there or a head fake like he had last time, just keeping it himself and trying to get the bucket because that's a tough pass to make to a, a shorter player at Brent Davis across the way. Now Davis is on the ball. Cougars back to that zone. And they engineer a steal. Cardet in transition, watch out, and one. And now Cardet's down under the basket, seems he's all right, so we can watch this again and probably watch in some wonder. Much better in transition this time from Crawford. How about the athleticism to reach back, snare that with one hand, and then he hangs in the air forever. And what a touch with the left hand too. And a wise play as well to not touch that on the rim. Would have been goaltending instead. The bucket counts that he's back to the free throw line. 17 points tonight on five of 11 shooting. Six of eight at the stripe. Wesley Cardet Jr., the junior out of Tallahassee. As his team up by 15. And now Neil and Gene Charles replace Corbett and Davis. Cardet, the national player of the week. Dick Vitale says so, so we all must say so. Oh, absolutely. Well on his way into another 20-point effort, too. Howard, left-handed drive, just snuck it over Cole. Haven't Under seen, the eight-minute mark. Haven't seen much from Howard today. He's barely been in the box score at all. And now Crawford responds with a lightning drive. There we go. Now it's been end-to-end -end stuff. This is basketball in what's been a slow-moving second half. Elliott wide open for the three. The Vaqueros continue to struggle, but they'll get a second chance here. Abdul Hakim, an NBA three, is way off the mark. 
He's not bad from out there, but it, it takes him so long to get into that shooting motion. Yeah, that's right. It's a slow, slow shot. He is proficient, though. 37% three-point shooter. I mean, that's nine points better than the team average. Gene Charles, no. Now Crawford, Cardetta three. And Wes has only hit one from behind the arc. And then a frustration foul is whistled against UTRGV. Looks like it'll be Williams. When we come back, six minutes, 56 seconds. Here's another look at that last play. That might be Gene Charles actually whistled for that foul. So when we come back, Cougars by 15 as we're under the seven minute mark. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Back in Chicago where the Cougars lead by 15, only seven minutes left, and Wesley Cardet has done Wesley Cardet tonight. 18 points, leading all scorers. Max, he's been projected as a second round NBA draft pick. What kind of player could he be at the next level? Well, here's the thing, especially, you know, a guy who's projected back at second rounder. In terms of the safety kind of value he could get in potential, you're looking at a, a guard with very much plus size at six foot six, but that wingspan at seven one makes him such an incredible all ball on ball defender, excuse me. And when you know the defensive level that he could bring, that's something you're going to get night in and night out, right? And if he be can become, you know, a better free throw shooter, right? A better three point shooter, uh, then you got to think this is a guy who could consistently be getting minutes on an NBA team somewhere. So the biggest step for him, that shooting. I would think so, absolutely, because the, the defense is there and he can just hound and suffocate uh, an opposing guard. Dalen Williams was fouled right before the media timeout. And for, you know, being six foot six, that length uh, makes him such a strong finisher at the rim, too, because he's been able to create some space. Right. And Williams hits them both. And Wesley Cardet, National Player of the Week after back to back. 20-plus point performances against ranked Northwestern and then against Valparaiso in a comeback road win. Well earned for number one in the gray, who's got it at the top of the circle. And it's tough when the spotlight's on you, right? He's drawing a ton of attention by right. teams defensively, though. Right, he is the man for Chicago State. Off the ball right now as Gene Charles handles, gives it to Cardet and off his foot. It's a turnover for the Cougars, who today, Max, are plus seven in the turnover department. An area where both these teams have struggled this year, but just going back to Cardinet, I mean, you know, what can you do when everybody knows the ball is going to be in your hands? And down the stretch against Valpo, he was taking it to the rim, he was getting to the free throw line, but when he was getting double down low, he was still finding the extra guy, making that extra pass. And 30 against Valpo. Crawford on the board. The Elliott miss, Chicago State closing in on its third win in a row. Still six minutes left. Long time to play as Cardet makes it look so easy. We missed that one. And now a foul called against UTRGV's J.J. Howard. 
Yeah, that was a, a tough one to tell who the foul was going to be called on live. But yeah, he, he reaches it, gets the head of the bread basket right through the left arm. So Gene Charles will head to the stripe for his third trip. Three for five on the day after that miss. And here are some UTRGV subs, including Sherman Brashear. And the first appearance of the day, just the fourth of the season for this man, Roy Jones the third. Deshaun Cans the second. So under five to go. Hey, let's see what Roy Jones the third can offer. Looking towards him now, Elliot shimmying through the trees. Draws a foul on Crawford. That's a veteran move for the junior Elliot. Elliot is only two of 12 from the field today, but he's got 13 points and he's gonna try to make it 15 if he can hit both of these because of moments just like this, the footwork, getting guys in the air. He's just been an expert. It's James Harden-esque, right? With the shot fakes and the shoulder fakes, getting guys in the air and then being able to get back to the free throw line. Lean in, absorb that contact. Harden-esque could totally be a word. Absolutely, that's only a second miss too. But, he has you know, five points from the field, eight from the charity stripe. What Matt, do I know? Matt Figure, I was just going to say, it was super transparent after the team's last game, the loss for Texas A&M yeah. Corpus Christi. He went out right after the game and said, hey, they were tougher than us. They were just simply tougher. Uh, we had a lot of trouble defending off the dribble, and we gave up way too many offensive rebounds. And uh, I would say, you know, just watching this game anecdotally, Chicago State has very much been the tougher team today. Well, they're throwing it away. Yeah, what kind of message does that send to a team when you look in the news clippings and you see, oh, our coach said we're not tough? Uh, that's got to light a fire under yeah. you, right? It, you know, going on the road, making the long journey up to Chicago. And you got to be eager to take on a team that's drawn national headlines, right, with the huge upset last week. Elliott stuffed by Cardet. And there's the flash of potential defensively. What a swat that was. Now whips a pass to Davis. Now, Wes Cardet can do so much with that seven-foot wingspan. As he watches Davis engineer the offense, throw it into Elliott's hands, and then he commits a frustration foul. It's the fourth against Davis. And you can't compound the error there if you're Brent Davis. You've already turned the ball over. It's sitting right in front of you, and you just reach in, and that's going to be two free throws. And it's the second time Chicago State in the last few minutes has found somebody, you know, 70 to 80 feet away from the bucket. And with five minutes left, both teams are in the double bonus. 20 total fouls in half two alone. It's funny, neither team has made a field goal in the last two minutes and 45 seconds, but they're both still scoring. It's pretty much just a free throw battle. UTRGV 23 for 28. That's also number four on Brent Davis as well. So now four players have four plus fouls. Salu Say has already fouled out with his fifth. Deshaun Corbett also has four for the Cougars. And he's also on the floor. He's got the ball and comes up empty. Rebound Davis. Guess what? Another foul. Another free throw. You know, when you're minus seven per game and the rebounding margin, it's moments like this that really have to frustrate a coaching staff. You're letting a guy like Brent Davis sky in there and amongst all those bodies, maybe the smallest guy trying to get the ball does get it. Today, Cougars are plus three on the boards. And Davis now has eight points. Perfect three of three at the line for the junior from Miramar, Florida. His fourth year playing college basketball, two at the Citadel, and now two at Chicago State. Still perfect at the line. And here comes the sub. Davis will check out, and Tristan Arnaud makes his first appearance. All right, Vaccaro's ball, down 14. Roy Jones, the third, handles it, and what really feels like their last charge. Finds Elliott. Driving on the baseline. Brashear, no, but right there to make the play, Abdul Hakim, and his coach calls timeout. The Caros are down 12. We'll step aside here with four and a half left. A miss is no problem. Hassan's got gotcha. you. 
great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day, Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Back in Chicago, how about this effort? Off the miss, Hassan Abdul Hakim injured ankle and all, skying high. Just playing free safety, sees it in the air, goes and makes a move when everybody else is trying to box out. He just goes and uncontested, able to put that in easy. He had three straight games with 20 plus points coming in. Tonight, quieter. I mean, that was the first bucket for either team. If we're talking real time, probably about 10 minutes. It's been a free throw fest. These teams combining for over 40 free throws tonight. Cougars breaking the press so easy and Gene Charles can't finish. Neither can Davis on the dunk. Now two on one, here's Elliott. No, and Corbett scoops it. He could just hear the footsteps of Wesley Cardin. Had to stop and pop it, just could not make it. It's a scary thing. Yeah, because you're just anticipating maybe a potential, you know, block right into the window and a highlight sports center type play. Here's Corbett. Jones knifed it away out of bounds. Cougars now have 11 to shoot. Oh, the nice job. Kind of pulled the chair out from him and still slapped it up. And Gerald Gillian calls timeout. It'll take us to our final media timeout. 12 point lead, Chicago State. Four minutes left. Looking for a three game win streak. It's game day at Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Well, this last UTRGV drive, I think footsteps were heard. Cardet on the block. Back in action, we have under four to go. Chicago State up 12, just came up with a turnover. And here's Elliott on the fake, and then the Cougars steal it right back. Noble Crawford coast to coast. 
draws a foul that goes against Roy Jones. The 21st foul of the second half. And here's another look. How many times have we seen Crawford out here in the open court? Couldn't get the finish here, but the reach in initially was the call. And two free throws either way with both teams easily in the double bonus. I mean, no field goals in the last four minutes and 12 seconds here for Chicago State. And they're still up by double figures. Noble Crawford has eight steals tonight. By far a career high. For context, the Cougars as a team have 14. <laughs> so he's got only, he's got more than half of them. And now a 13 point lead. Be two more. Points and steals would be a, a whale of a double double. Double double? He's got seven boards too. Why not go for triple? This is Elliott. UTRGV pretty much needs to score on every possession to stay competitive. Abdul Hakim. Bounces, and it's Williams now. He finds Elliott in the corner, nice shot fake. And the three-point shooting woes continue. Three of 15 for the Vaqueros. Cardet, Corbett, on the drive, he is in and out. We'll stay here though, Cougars get a fresh possession. How about the effort there for Brent Davis after the missed shot and just a, a frustrated Daylon Williams after he had this ball for a brief moment, but it oh, seemed smart. right off his knee. Oh, so smart for Brent Davis. Not the oldest trick in the book, but one of them. Brent Davis does so many little things that don't show up at a box score too. Right. Effort for an undersized guard is tremendous. And in the box score, he's got nine points and four boards. A shot from the corner goes a bit strong in UTRGV. Now with some speed. Abdul Hakim motors in and is fouled by Crawford. So free throws coming for Hassan. I think everybody got to the edge of their chair where they saw Abdul Hakim with this much space just kind of colliding through everybody like he was going to throw down a thunderous duck but got caught off. Cut off, and, uh, but going back to the line. Saw Davis trying to take his third charge of the day. Just kind of stone-footed. It's a high-arcing free throw. It sounded good. It sounded crisp. That went in, and it, it looked like it barely hit the net. Nine points. Now ten. Got to love when somebody yells short, and it goes in. Now he's on the ball as the football pass is successful. Noble Crawford gets fouled by Williams. But before that, what a pass all the way down the court. Yeah, I like the idea with UTRGV overplaying the passing lanes. You go for the home run pass, and then Williams, he thought he got a lot of ball, and it certainly looked like he does at least by the end, but I think initially got a little hand. And well, they've been calling a pretty tight game and a very tight half. 13 team fouls on UTRGV. 11 on Chicago State. The teams have almost combined for 60 free throws. I mean, Chicago State's missed eight straight shots, and UTRGV is one of their last eight. So combined one for their last 16. Cougars on have a bucket in five minutes and 20 seconds. Wow. Long three, no for Abdul Hakim. And here come the Cougars. Just over two minutes left. Cardet with anticipation just over everyone. He's got 20 points for the third straight game. I was going to say, maybe he knew he was sitting right on 18 and just went right to it. He gets going downhill. Once again, attacking from that left side to his right is unstoppable. Brashear with a sort of messy drive and still drops it in. Timeout for UTRGV. And the Vaqueros down by 13. Nice for Brashear to see something go in because he, he was 0 of 5 from the field. That's a 40% three point shooter who was 0 of 4 from deep, is still 0 for 4 with two absolute air balls. Uh, but nice to see him get a friendly roll. 
a nice shirt. If you're Gerald Gillian, what can you take away from a game in which your offense has sputtered a lot, but Max, they've gotten to the line a lot, and in a slow-moving game with the mascot doing the Macarena, Cougars seem destined for the win. Yeah, and they can take a lot of pride, and I think even with 156, this game is probably well decided, up by 13, but remember, on Saturday, they gave up 62 points in their 63-62 win. That was tied for a season low in terms of points allowed. If they can hold the line here, hold serve, and keep UTRGV at 60, it'd be their best effort so far defensively this year. And a team that had a huge upset just has not let up since. Gene Charles finds Davis, and he drops it in. A try out to Sean Gene Charles for quarterback. What a pass. 100 seconds left, Cougs by 15. And another foul, wow. Foul fest continues. I should the be 26th foul of the half. Should be five on Corbin as well. Yep, there's his fifth. And we probably thought we'd see more from Abdul Hakim so far today uh, than what we did. And you hate to speculate, obviously, we saw him walk around and shoot around in the warm ups today, and he just did not look 100% on that left ankle. Uh, but he's a guy who's going to be a force to be reckoned with in the whack all year long. UTRGV in Chicago State's former conference. I mean, how often do you see a guy that not only is, you know, putting up 20 points a game over the last week and a half, and he's the second leading scorer on the team, but a six foot eight player coming off the bench leading the team in assists? I don't think that's Never a sentence I've ever heard. Never seen it. He's the team leader in assists and blocks, the second leading scorer, and he doesn't start. Oh, that is so pretty. That high arcing free throw. The Vaqueros are within 13. Cougars can pretty much put this to bed with a made basket. Might already be in bed, though, with 90 seconds left, up 13. Abdul Hakim tipping out of bounds. So Chicago State, it's a good time to be a Cougar. A win last Wednesday against ranked Northwestern. A win on Saturday, comeback fashion at Valparaiso. And then this. Abdul Hakim looking for the miracle. He's got a sneaky 14 points. He might end up their leading scorer. Look at that laser focus guarding the ball. Minute 10 left. Cardet with a Euro step, no. And it stays with the Cougars. UTRGV can't believe it. And I get the Carnet wants more, but he, you probably are a little wiser if you, you just pull this out and try to eat some more clock. Now that looked like it was last touch by Davis. And I think the refs are going to review this. Mike, or Matt Figure is requesting a review, so they'll take a look at it. And so will we. It's Williams and Davis going for it. What do we think? Ooh. I mean, it, it looks, I mean, it's just so, it's so tough to tell. You think given where the ball ends up directionally going back towards the stanchion, it's kind of the direction in which a Brent Davis' hand would be pushing it. Looked like it, it was it, off it, of Williams to me. I think it certainly gets Williams there. Right? Like, yeah, absolutely. It looks like it's off Williams from that angle. The UTRGV bench was completely losing it. Yeah, that was, that was incredibly definitive from that shot. <laughs> it looked like Davis's hand was actually not even close. Yeah, it's Cougar's ball. Yeah, the Cougar is happy. So is Davis. Fresh 20 on the shot clock. Looked like they were going for the alley-oop on the inbounds with a, a fresh, moment. fresh 20 on the shot clock. And now we'll settle things down. A minute to go and an 11-point Chicago State oh. lead. Then he throws it away. UTRGV ball. Well, if you're a head coach, it's always nice to have something to work on when your team goes out and plays pretty well. Uh, and that was uh, a careless, just bizarre turnover. So score is 75-64. 75-64 as UTRGV's got 50 seconds left. On the drive, it's Elliott. Now a nine-point game. Does UTRGV have a miracle in them? Well, Davis prized it away, and now the Cougars have three on nobody. 
Cole rambles it home. It was very fortunate for Chicago State. They didn't turn that over right wow. into their own hoop. They were so close to it. And now Howard comes up empty on a three. And with an 11 point lead and 30 seconds left, this one feels now finally all but over. So Chicago State, they're going to get their fourth win in a row, third win in a row, excuse me. They're going to have won four of their last five. They'll have a win streak going. They're back here again in a, a winnable contest at home versus Bethude Cookman on Wednesday. But it's another super busy day. Do you see that a lot for Chicago State? This time of year is an independent before on Friday. They head up to the Cole Center, another Big Ten opponent on the docket. Yeah, I bet those <laughs> Badgers are getting a little See, sweaty you, before that game. You yeah? can sneak up on a Power 5 team and a Big 10 team the first time, the second time. you got to think Wisconsin's going to know exactly what occurred when Chicago State went up to Evanston. Prior to Wednesday, Chicago State was 0-64 all-time against the Big 10. Then they take down Northwestern. Now they've got Wisconsin coming on Friday. Here's another timeout. I guess use him or lose him. It's the final timeout for UTRGV in a 10-point game. So up next is Bethune-Cookman for the Cougars. That's a 7 o'clock game right here on Wednesday night. We will have the broadcast for you right here on YouTube Live. Then it's to Wisconsin. Well, how about for the Vaqueros? They've got quite a Christmas break, two weeks off before their next game, December 30th against Incarnate Ward. <laughs> that was a wry smile. A wry smile. What defines a wry smile? You tell me. <laughs> I guess that. <laughs> right there. Put it in the Miriam Picture worth a thousand words, but in this case, only worth two. And those two are wry smile. and smile. <laughs> All right, 22 ticks left. Cougars can crack a wry smile if they finish off a win. Any and all kinds and types of smiles. A wry smile, a big smile. A sheepish grin, you know, any kind. Here's another heave for Cardet, and this one's all but over. Chicago State, after a historic week, some might have come in here and thought, hey, maybe a Monday letdown is in the offing. You've got sleepy Monday night against a team you haven't beaten in a decade. The numbers are in your favor, but Chicago State woke up tonight. Yeah, UTRGV is a team that's pretty well rested given uh, they haven't played a whole lot in this month and they won't when December concludes. But another great effort, three in a row. Chicago State, a three-game win streak on the heels of a history-making week. The Cougars are in the win column again. What an effort. Pretty complete, eh? Yeah, I mean, really, from the jump, it felt like this was Chicago State's game to win, and they went out there and just simply got it done. Won the first half by nine. Uh, both teams played very evenly, actually, in, that, in this second half. It uh, was very snappage start, very whistle-heavy. 33 free throw attempts for UTRGV, 30 for Chicago State. But uh, when the Cougars were getting out and going, what a day for Crawford. Eight steals. I mean, he was near in potential triple-double figures. 14 points and seven rebounds to go with that. Wesley Cardet leads. Leading all scorers again. That's just what he does. 20 points tonight as the Cougars led this game for all but five minutes and coast to a 78-68 win. We'll be back in action on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock tip-off to face Bethune-Cookman. Alongside my good friend Max Toma and our championship crew, Sam Brief saying good night and happy holidays from Chicago where the Cougars win again. Thank you.